Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about alarm events in WinCC Flexible. So let's go ahead and start uh, WinCC. I will create an empty project. Let's change the resolution of the screen. Ok, to display alarms we are going to use alarm view element from the enhanced object. And I'm going to put two elements because I want to show uh, in the first one warning messages and in the second one alarm messages, some errors. So let's configure it. So we can see that this one will display pending alarms and the class will be warning messages. And for the lower one it will be showing pending alarms and the class will be some errors so the first one, the upper one, will be just for warnings the lower one will be for errors so let's create some tags So the first internal tag I will be using as a discrete one. The second will be as an analog, analog one. So I will change the type to the float type. Ok, to describe these uh, warnings and alarms we have to go to the alarm management and first we will check out the discrete alarms. So let's create a couple of uh, warnings. Here we will write the text which will be shown. So it will be warning, trigger tag is pump status and trigger bit will be zero. warnings the same trigger tag trigger bit will be 1 so we can continue this uh, for as long as we need and uh, I will describe the analog alarm so, for example, pressure is above upper limit and pressure is below lower limit. The class will be errors, trigger tag will be pressure and, for example, I want to set up the upper limit to let's say 200 and trigger mode will be on rising edge that means that if this uh, pressure variable is going up until 200 and then even above this means that this rising edge is triggered and this alarm is triggered as for pressure is below lower limit I will set up 100 and I will choose on falling edge so if the pressure will be dropping uh, down until uh, 100 and even lower 
that means that this uh, falling edge is triggered and this alarm is triggered. So let's go ahead and check out how this works. So I will put normal pressure and nothing happens. So everything is within the order. So let's say I will put pump status zero, one. So pump is turned on, two pump is turned off. So we can see that these uh, warning messages are changing. Let's say this uh, my pressure is 90. So we can see that the pressure is below lower limit. Let's say it, it's within range and above the upper limit. So this is just simulation, but if in the real project it will not be internal tech, but the external tech, which will be connected to some uh, variable in the symbol table of the step 7 project. And when that variable in the symbol table will change, the tech will change as well. And the appropriate alarm will be triggered on the condition that this um, some discrete or analog alarm is triggered. So that's it for today. I hope this information has been has been useful and I'll see you guys.